is up everybody it's your boy king boys productions and i am back at it with another reaction video so today i'm here with dc the don 4am official audio so as we know last week dc the don dropped his uh long anticipated album funeral i really enjoyed it uh thank you to you thank you to y'all <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Thank you to you all who watched the video, showed love, left comments, a lot of great comments. So I appreciate all the love on that. Uh, a lot of li a lot of likes, a lot of love on that video. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the love on that video. Um, Cause I did have some trouble at first uh, with the video going up. Cause like there was just like this weird like blocking thing, which I was just having a little trouble with, but I was able to uh, get around it luckily and get the, the videos there up and they're doing pretty well. I think they're actually the top, my last, uh, it shows you like your top last 10 videos, like what are your top performing? And I think those one and two. So thank you guys so much for that. I know I got a lot of DC fans that are uh, over here subscribed and shit, and I appreciate you guys so much. It means a lot, man, because, uh, and I got a lot of, I got a lot of uh, very kind messages on Instagram and stuff too. Um, I had a few people reach out and tell me how like, they loved seeing my reactions because not a lot of people react to DC the Don and it's like it's it's cool seeing that whatever uh, so I appreciate all the love sent to me on Instagram as well if you ever want to you know if you ever want to chat with me I, I try to respond to as many people as possible uh, I, my Instagram is down below just shoot me a DM I'll try to respond sometimes I, I get busy or sometimes DMs also like get lost not lost but like they like don't come up right away so if i if i so i have multiple instagrams if i don't switch over to my other instagram like say sometimes it gets tr it like doesn't trigger the message it's just like a mess so just if you do dm me on instagram like just give me a give me a couple times give me <laughs> what's happening to me i'm like losing my mind <laughs> um just give me a, a couple days if i don't respond you know i will respond though i usually i'm i'm usually good at responding to messages on uh instagram anyway uh we got a new song from DC the Don. He just said, I guess he was on Twitter and was just like, I just thought, fuck it, I'll drop this. And I, I think it's only on YouTube and SoundCloud currently, but I think he's working on getting it on streaming services. Uh, but yeah, it's called the 4 a, it's called 4 a.m. on here, but he called it 4 a.m. freestyle. So I'm excited. I mean, I'm assuming the title is what it was. Like he was just in the studio at 4 a.m. and just recorded this little freestyle. So let's get it. Gang. Get that bit. Hey. This is easy to done and I'm really up. 2020 Corvette with my semi tuck. This a whole lot of horse starting giddy up. On the road, we gon' come fuck your city up. But I bet we won't fuck with no groupies. It's for tools in this bitch, we the goons. I got more of guns than regards. Donnie MVP, if you don't like it, then shoot me. Better off. Yo, cause I, I, I fuck with this. Cause this sounds like he has some of his older stuff. Like, uh, where he just like went with snap on tracks, like some of his older stuff. And this sounds like that, that same vibe where he's just going off. Like, it's not like a, like a sat down and written song. Like he's just going off. I, I would assume he's going almost off the dome with this. Money, your business. I say Mark in the back, you do fitness. 25, yeah, that's a very long sentence. But I got some niggas 50, yeah, they with it. They bust up your finish. Crash, I double my ditch. I'm really him. They like nigga who is it? She put the bags in the bed. That's my end. This bitch keep going live, trying to fuck up my end. I don't do that shit. This bitch gotta eat. Walk around like a lick. I do you on my feet. Yeah. You niggas be broke. Do you hear me compete? Yeah. In my sweater, you cave in my bitch. I been over your problem. You best playing caution. I bang on my chest. You play dead like a pawn. We be sticks out and playing laser tags with Glock. Got a white bitch in here. Keep on saying I'm cocky like bitch. You stupid dumb or off the ice. I said bitch, I've been paranoid. I know they watch. I keep running the hell of nigga. You ain't cocky. I look demon and shooter. He keep getting. What? My little demon is shooter, he could get it popped. R.I.P. Little Mitch, he says, name we drop. Move low, cause these niggas keep on fucking flocking. Chill. Baby Drake in my lap, trying to make this bitch. I don't know the pin. All I know is this bitch hit you and your man. It's done and I'm really up. 2020 Corvette with my semi touch. This a whole lot of horse started giddy up. On the road, we gon' come fuck your city up. But I bet we won't fuck with no groupies. It's for tools in this bitch, we the goons. I got more guns than regards. Donnie MVP, if you don't like it, then shoot me. I look to put one in your head. I ain't tripping, he already did. Bitches 
up, you done said what you said. I can see in his face, I look nigga a fat, fit his shit with lead. My bitch give it head. I don't fuck with 12, I turn 13 instead. I'm counting the bread. Damn. My face keep on asking about Zodiac. I think that she got a problem with me. Childish as fuck, like she peeing the bitch. He said this bitch keep asking about zodiacs i think that she got a problem with meds what Okay. Hey, DC just like straight Dunny. rapping. Dunny! All right, let me get the Dunny! Hey, but him just like straight rapping on a track, I feel like he hasn't done that in a minute. Like, he has like tracks like that. I mean, I feel like the, the funeral, at least, right? It was mostly like a lot more singing stuff. And it was like the vibe that he was going for. And I, and I like that, but I also like when Donny goes off. What is it, Rage Kid? Is that the, I don't know. Was it, isn't it Rage Kid and then Donnie or what, what the hell was it? I don't remember. It was like the, the last album was broken into two parts. It was like the Rage music and then it was like the other, whatever it is. But, um, man, shout out DC, man. Literally, and I've said this, I've said this before, but, um, anything that DC puts out, I enjoy. It doesn't matter. So if, like, as, as soon as I became a DC fan, like anything that he's putting out, putting out. Yeah, that's a word, putting. Anything he put out, I've enjoyed. So like, hey, let's go. Let's go, DC. Um, but I also saw, so I know last week Destroy Lonely dropped as well. And I see a lot of people like comparing them and like being like, oh, well, DC's album was better. Oh, Destroy Lonely albums was better. It's like, man, we got to stop doing this, man. We got to stop like comparing. Like, I understand that that's like human nature is to compare stuff when it drops at the same time. But like, but we got to stop comparing things and just like enjoy the music. Like, we're getting albums from, like, all these different people that we enjoy, right? Like, you could personally think, like, yeah, I, th I personally like DC's album better than Destroy Lonely. Whatever it is. But, like, the fact that, like, people always have feel the need to be like, like, damn, Destroy Lonely really took an L with this one. Oh, DC really took an L. It's like, bro, we gotta stop doing that. Like, stop comparing artists like that. Just, like, if you personally didn't like, like, um, if you personally thought DC's album was better, cool, that's fine. But like that doesn't mean you have to automatically you don't have to like pick sides and it almost feels like the internet like wants you to pick a side right like either you were vibing with destroy lonely's album more or you're vibing with dc's album more there was like there's no way you could like both in the eyes of the internet and it's like just enjoy the music right just enjoy the music that came out because that's there's a point where Destroyed Lonely is never going to drop again. There's a point where DC the Don is never going to drop again. And you're going to be looking back like, damn, I, uh, then you're going to look back on some of these albums and be like, man, that really was really good, man. Or you look back and you're like, man, this album was good. I can't believe I trashed it that that one time or whatever the hell it is, man. It's like, or even if you didn't like the album necessarily, like it's like, that's fine. But like, you don't have to sit here and compare artists all the time and like, you don't have to be like, yo, one's good, one's not. Like, just because they drop on the same day, does like, you can enjoy multiple projects on the same day. You know, it's not a comparison thing. It's like, they're both dropping. Cool. Awesome. I'm happy. Let's listen to them both. Okay, I kind of liked this one a little better, but I still like this one. Or even if you didn't like, I didn't really like the, the, this album, whatever it was. You know, you don't have, and it's like, I don't know. It's just, I kept seeing that all over the internet, like all over TikTok, all over Twitter. And I was like, bro, like wh why? Like who cares that much? Like, I guess, like I said, I think it is human nature for us to like want to compare things and, and one has to be better than the other. Or, like you can't enjoy both type shit. And it's like, you can, it's music, right? You're allowed to enjoy whatever you want. And that's what I've always said is like j the greatest thing about music is there's not one person in the world that has the exact same music taste as someone else. Not one. It's like a snowflake. It really is. Fingerprints, whatever it is. Everybody has their own individual music taste. Like there are certain songs, even if you're very, very, very similar to someone, right? Even if like, because I know like a lot of you guys, right, watching these videos have a very similar taste in music as I do. Because you always watch my videos and what do I react to? The stuff that I like. So that means you guys like it, I would assume, right? Um, 
But like even you guys, there's gonna be some stuff that you guys like that I don't like. There's gonna be stuff that I like that you guys don't that you guys like. Like I know a lot of rap fans don't fuck with country at all. I don't listen to a lot of country, but there's some country songs I vibe with. Now there might be some of you guys in the comments right now, like yo, like fuck that. I don't like I don't really like any country songs, and that's what that's fine, right? Because that's why like music is so sick because like and it just brings people together. It really does. And like yeah, we can like different things, but I can also be like. Oh, like say say somebody watching is like not a DC fan, but a, a Destroy Lonely fan. Oh, I I like I like kind of like Destroy Lonely's album. Oh, did you look, let's talk about you know cool cool I liked this song this song whatever it is you know like we, we can just because you're a fan of someone else doesn't mean you have to tarnish other people and I feel like it happens quite a bit and I've been seeing it a lot with like Taylor Swift too like she's on this massive tour right now massive. I know like a couple weekends ago she was in um, she was in Atlanta and she did three shows at the football stadium here, Mer Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Did three shows, all sold out. You look at the prices on like um, like resale apps, like I use GameTime a lot. That's a really cool app by the way, if you guys are looking for cheaper tickets. It's not sponsored at all, I wish. GameTime sponsored me. But um, like the cheapest ticket on GameTime was like 1200 bucks for one ticket. And you're sitting like behind the stage. So like say this is the stage. This is the stage is the headphones. You're sitting like back here. Back here behind. So like you're looking down. Like she's standing right here. You're behind the stage like looking down this way. For 1200 bucks. And it's crazy. But like because of that. Like the show selling out. All this the Swift fans going up. There's so many people that like have to dog on people that, that enjoy Taylor Swift's music. And it's like why? Like why do you care? Why do you care what people like enjoy? You know, not everyone likes the Kid Leroy, right? I know he's like a pretty controversial artist as far as like liking slash non-liking. But like, I like Kid Leroy. If you don't like Kid Leroy, that's fine. But like, don't don't dog someone because of the, the music they like. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I, I hate when people are judgy about music. Like, you can say something's trash. Like, oh man, this song stinks. That's fine. But if this person likes the song, you don't just, I, I wouldn't say necessarily you go like, man, I can't believe you like that song. This song so Like, I might still be like, yeah, I don't know, man. I just don't really like it. I, I, I think it's trash. This person likes it. Okay, that's that's cool, man. Congrats. I'm glad you like the song, you know? I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent again. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, if you did like, please leave a like. Please subscribe. Original video is in the description down below if you'd like to check that out for yourself. And until next time, it's your boy, King Boys Productions. Squaw. My love's like a black hole, sun so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to, but when I find myself tripping off that blunt, tripping off this blunt, so I might be blunt if I do confront you.